like that. Um, something like that. A lot went wrong, everything's fucked. Being out of smoke and the drink dried up. A nine to five, why work for what? After six years passed, they just hated my guts. I got three friends, only two I trust. Even with my last name, I never had no luck. Spinning my wheels, deep down stuck. I don't wanna go back where the crackheads pluck. One eye open, tired as fuck. Picking off buds, weighing out nuggets, tabs, pills, little white buttons. Kicking those down, I need my dope and the money. Be quiet for I put one in your stomach. Coughing out blood, yeah, before supper. Got the shoestring, let them hang if you wondered. 100 songs deep, they call it murder. If you are awaiting a finding of clear and present danger, then I can only say that the danger has never been more clear, and its presence has never been more imminent. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit. Highly efficient machine. Ah, fucking right, I'm nuts. Say it to my face, I bet you don't. Backstabber, actor, fake ass punk. Not a lot you won't do. The school to get what you want. Looking through the rear view, my problems go small. Fuck a job, I ain't even show up or call. I'm worth a million dollars, bitch. So are my dogs. Mac, soldier slim, can I ball? I pick up quick, hit a lift, and move on. 80 coupe, midnight blue, it's on chrome. Trunk full of mixtapes, flies, and zones. I ain't tripping on a trick. I come from a broken home. I Granny's getting old, my mama's still alone, my wife wants to leave, my kids are getting old, it rings, it rings, no one picks up the phone, god damn it motherfucker, I'm dying, I'm all alone, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate very much your generous invitation to be here tonight. You bear heavy responsibilities these days, and a article I read uh, some time ago reminded me of how particularly heavily the burdens of present-day events bear upon your profession. You may remember that in 1851, the New York Herald Tribune, under the sponsorship and publishing of Horace Greeley, employed as its London correspondent, an obscure journalist by the name of Karl Marx. We are told that foreign correspondent Marx, stone broke, with a family ill and undernourished, constantly appealed to Greeley, the managing editor Charles Dana, for an increase in his munificent salary of $5 per installment, a salary which he and Engels ungratefully labeled as the lousiest petty bourgeois cheating. But when all his financial appeals were refused, Marx looked around for other means of livelihood and fame eventually terminating his relationship with the Tribune and devoting his talents full-time to the cause that would bequeath to the world the seeds of Leninism, Stalinism, Revolution, and the Cold War.